So how many of the 25 finalists under 16 volunteered their bra size to organisers of an internet beauty contest? The answer was 25. Uh, you're watching Britain's brightest daytime show, The Right Stuff, of course, with Dominic, Amanda, and the one and only Mr. Jim Kerr. A little later this morning, the big Glastonbury debate. We've changed the topic now to hip hop versus hip hop. <laughs> uh, thanks to our, our viewer, Patrick White, for that one. It's a cracking one, Patrick. Uh, last year's festival, we've tried for ages and were outdone by a viewer. Uh, last year's festival made headlines because hip hopper Jay Z was a headliner, a rapper at Glastonbury, it just gained on. Well, this year the festival has gone back to its roots, pandering to a grey haired pop belly folk like me. Uh, have they done the right thing or, or, or given the youth like a happy slap around the chops? 027 173 555. That's the number for your thoughts. First, is 13 too young for a girl to be posting her bra size online? I could have asked, is 13 too young to enter an online beauty contest full stop? But while it's difficult to object to girls of 13 posting pictures online when so many do just that on Facebook, posting your vital statistics strikes me as being something else altogether, isn't it? No wonder organisers tell the 13, 14 and 15 year olds competing for the title Miss Teen Princess that your bra size is not compulsory. They also insist all entrants have their parents' written permission, which makes it even weirder to find that all four of the 13 year old finalists have indeed supplied their vital statistics, which range from 32B to 34B in case you're interested, which I'd like to tell you I am not. The organiser, Lena Perini, uh, told us the notion that this sexualised 13-year-olds was absolutely ridiculous. Uh, she also told us the competition was for proud parents. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's all harmless fun. One of last year's finalists, 15-year-old Daniela Routledge from Essex, said the contest had really boosted her confidence after she'd been bullied for years. Well, good for her. But who was looking at her online when she entered the competition? Other teenage girls? For sure. Dirty old man? Got to be a possibility. Personally, I can't see why organisers would even consider asking a 13-year-old for their vital statistics. But even more than that, what kind of mum or dad would give written permission for their child to disclose that kind of information online? I'm going to start with you, Amanda. What do you think? I think it's awful. I think it's absolutely awful. We were just talking in the break and I was saying, you know, because I modelled for years, but I was, I, I started quite late. I was 21 when I, when I started modelling. And I, I really think that there should be a blanket ban. I don't think anyone should be able to enter any kind of pageant, modelling, contract, anything until they're at least 18. Because you don't, you know, 13 year old girls. But then you, you, we, you have to, by definition, have young models modelling clothes for young people. So child models modelling children's but clothes, teenagers. Brass, brass size? I, I mean, I didn't have Well, it's the, it's the idea that parents give permission yeah. for their 13-year-old daughter to post that information and the, online. And the girl that was saying that it boosted her confidence, would it have boosted her confidence if she'd come last? You know, well, would it have boosted her confidence if someone had said, God, your hips are ginormous for a 15-year-old? No, it wouldn't. And, and, you know, I saw this in the eight years that I was modelling. I was saying to Dominic before, you know, I started when I was 20, and everything had filled out <laughs> slightly too much because I was constantly being told that I was too big or that you know my hips were too big or my boobs were too big or I needed to lose weight and I'd watch a lot of these 13 or 14 year old girls come into my agency and I was with a big very reputable agency and they'd come in sort of prepubescent and then they'd start growing boobs and hips and by the time they were 18, 17, 16, 17, so many eating disorders and so many hang-ups because it's a really vicious industry. Do you, are you saying here that you, you don't like this competition? I don't stop? like it full stop and I think this this whole thing that we seem to be obsessed in about in this country, this judging people on uh, on the way that they look, I, Britain's got talent, I know we, you know, we, all of this... So what did you call it? But, yeah. uh, did I not put the no talent in the Britain video? Britain hasn't got any talent to shout. The mentally yeah. challenged. Yeah. Exactly. That's what it should exactly. be called. Exactly. But all of these young girls that are entering into this, I'm sure the majority of them are doing it because they think it's going to lead on to who knows what it's modeling. Be famous. Wag. You know, I'm going to be. I was reading somewhere in the notes that they were they surveyed a thousand young girls to ask them who they thought good role models were, and the top two were Abby Titmus and Jordan. I despair. Okay, uh, Jim. Would you want your... I know she's a bit older now, but if she was... She, uh, well, even at 24, I wouldn't like my daughter. Uh, but, but um, yeah, I'm very old school in that sense, and uh, just the whole idea of it makes me 
more than a the little con queasy. The contest or, or the, 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 the vital statistics? Well, there is something sad about the contest as well, as, as Amanda was, was, was saying. There's something desperate about those, those things. And, and, um, we had girls at London University uh, less than a year ago, mm. they were staging a, a beauty pageant, and you'd have thought that... Mm. The undergraduates would have moved on a bit from yeah. that, but it would be brains, not, not beauty. Well, it's not the world I live in. But the internet as well, the fact that it's the internet, that's also quite disturbing, because you've got no idea who's looking at these things, how mm. they can tap into it. I mean, that, that really would worry me. I cannot, for the life of me, understand why these parents would, would allow their children to... Willow's not going out until she's at least 35, <laughs> so she's going to be fine. <laughs> but I can't understand she's why... She's only, what, eight weeks? She's old. 14 <laughs> weeks, yeah, she's got a long time in that house. Um, Dominic. What do you well, think? Well, I mean, I, I just concur. It's completely hideous. I mean, there's a wonderful film called Little Miss Sunshine. Brilliant oh, film. Yeah, uh, yeah, a wonderful, wonderful film. And I watched it thinking, gosh, that would never happen over here. And this is akin to that. And, and I'm with Amanda to an extent. I, but I would, wouldn't it be wonderful if we didn't need to ban them? Wouldn't it be wonderful if we did have a teen pageant, but no one partook because they didn't want to be involved? But sadly, we do have these moron parents, and they are completely irresponsible. They are. They, they really shouldn't be parents, uh, and, and they are, I, I think, just just making the wrong decisions for their kids, and those kids will will be will be worse off for it. You see, I, I'm fast. I do wonder because back at, back in the day when I was at school, you know, way back, uh, it wasn't beyond the realms of possibility that to get out of school, one would forge a letter from your parents saying yeah. oh, Matthew's really sick today, uh, or was really sick yesterday, so he couldn't make it in. Da, da, da. It's got to be a possibility that that a possibility at least that some child might forge their parents' permission. Uh, it's equally possible that there are some parents out there that, that, that would agree and, and, and encourage their daughters to enter this. If that is the case, I would love to speak to you. Uh, let's hear what you've got to say. Kirsty. Jasmine's online too. Jasmine, good morning. Hi. Hi there. Um, how old are you, Jasmine, can I ask? Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. Uh, so, what do you think of uh, Miss Teen uh, Beauty? I think it's absolutely ridiculous because, like, so many... Uh, just 13-year-olds posting the bra sizes online. I think my mum would kill me if she thought that I was doing something like that. Would you even, would you consider doing it yourself for any reason whatsoever? No, not whatsoever. Glad to hear it, glad to hear it. Um, it's very interesting you say your mum would kill you because I, I have to say... She really I think would. A lot of mums would feel the same way. Can, I mean, are you against... Uh, what, what, what is your view on, on beauty pageants, full stop, beauty I content? I don't like them no. whatsoever. I think that... They just create the wrong image that you have to look a certain way. And it's not right. I mean, everybody looks different and beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so... That, that's true, but we, sadly, beauty is, and Amanda, you're a testament to it, it is a, it's a qualification. You know, especially in adult life, how you look is how you're on television. We go back to um, but, Susan Boyle, and I, I say again, I, I think the reason that people were so interested is because they made an assumption from yeah. looking at her Before, that she would be too ugly to have a, a, a you, lovely voice. And you're never going to change that adult perspective on beauty, but the, no. the tragedy here is we're not allowing kids to be kids. We want kids to be adults yeah. as soon as they can be. OK, but not all kids, because you get people like Jasmine, who's yeah, obviously well, very bright, very switched on. And thank you for watching this show, as opposed to the, the vile monster. Really. <laughs> Bless you. Let's have another piece, Kirsty. Um, we have Lisa, who's actually a mother of one of the girls entered the competition and she's oh. on line one. OK, Lisa, good morning. Hi, morning. Good morning. And how old's your daughter? Um, she's 15. 15. So one of the oldest, but within the, the group of Miss Teen Princess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, whose idea to enter the competition? Well, we actually went up to the Close Show Live um, in Birmingham for a yeah. um, Christmas present and she got scouted by one of the people that run it. Right. Um, my daughter's studying GCSEs. Um, she doesn't go out a lot. You know, she doesn't run the streets or go, well, we're quite sort of strict parents. Totally understands where you're going with all this sort of paedophile bit and people looking in the papers. But for us, it was, yes, my daughter wearing a prom dress and all fun. Um, did you, did you do the... Um, did you take things sometimes the wrong way, looking at the world and saying, you could be on the beach and there's paedophiles. You could be a much... A abso absolutely, absolutely, exercises. absolutely. Did, you, did, you, uh, did your daughter put her vital stats up on, online? Yeah, well, what happened was, you go, when you actually get onto the Teen Queen website, you'll get voted, and there's all different shapes and forms of girls, and that's why I like it. I'm not into the young girls that starve themselves, and, you know, the reason I like it, there's people with disabilities on there, there's all sorts. If you look right. at the website, it's, it's about every sort of child. Yes, indeed, there. yes, indeed. But is there any reason to have a 15-year-old girl's vital statistics online, posted online? Why do we need that, uh, that information up well, there? I thought it was for the dress sizes and things like that. Yeah, but that, that's something that could be kept with, with, with the organisers. It wouldn't need to be posted online. Yeah. I mean, 
mean, I know where you're going with that, and I totally understand with other children that are younger and smaller, but when you have the pictures done, there's none of the bikini shots, or they're quite tasteful pictures. I mean, the one that's put in the Daily Mail of my daughter, they've blackened out her face, which is coming out on Saturday, but they've got a white T-shirt and jeans. Yep. Nothing exploiting her body. It's a taste of jeans and a white T-shirt. As I, I, said, I said right at the beginning, you know, it's difficult to object to girls posting pictures uh, on this site because Facebook is filled with young girls posting uh, pictures, from what yeah. I'm told. But I, do, I, I really don't understand why you as a parent, when it, it's, it's, it's a piece of information you can volunteer, you don't have to give... Uh, your child's vital statistics. They don't have to be posted no, up online. Your waist side, as top models, as the, the lady sitting next to has been a model, she's put all her sizes out. And obviously... Well, she was an adult, was Lisa. She wasn't a 15-year-old girl. I was, I was 21, and, and that's not... It's... it's it, <laughs> At 21 years old, I, I, I knew who I was as a... You know, I was a grown-up, I was an adult, I wasn't a 15-year-old girl. It's, it's a very, Needing very Needing mum's different, permission to enter yeah, a competition. it's a very different Well, thing. I think it's really wrong to sort of judge a parent not being a good parent, because... I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that. I just say I don't understand why. I didn't judge you as a parent. You can have people looking on any website at children. You can. But I wouldn't go and actually facilitate it or make it easier no, or provide not information easy. that might... It's not that sort of... But I'm sure you don't see this. I'm just thinking that, you know, that there could be some disgusting old perverts or indeed some disgusting young perverts out there that would get a thrill out of reading that kind of information about pre-age about pre of consent girls, but 15, like said, 14... This is the world we live in now. It's a terrible thing to think that... Yeah, but don't make it easier for them, Lisa. That's, that's the point I'm or... saying. Is you're, you're, not, you're not doing anything to stop it. You're not doing any, You were given the choice not to put that information out there, and you chose to put it out no, there. No, it That's... wasn't put like that, though. But this is what I'm saying. It's the mail. You've read the mail. You're making it sound sleazy, and it isn't sleazy at all. It's about all different young no, girls. No, 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 Lisa, Lisa, I, I don't want to labour the point, because we've spoken to the, the organisers of the competition. We know they're, they're watching this very right now. Yeah. It, it, you didn't have to. It's voluntary to provide the information of bra size. And you chose, you volunteered your daughter, or your daughter asked you, or you permitted and allowed your daughter to volunt voluntarily put that well, information some, online. Some big pageant was wearing lovely colourful dresses and girls just enjoying mod modelling and tasteful clothes. There's nothing sleazy about it. And it okay, it's okay, okay, nice. okay, you okay. You never do anything to, in, in the okay. world, looking at everyone looking at you, would you? I, I, yes, I hear what you're saying. You don't not hear what I'm saying. We'll beg to differ. Thank you very much for the call. I wish your daughter the best of luck, I guess. Uh, let's have another one, please, Kirsty. We have Debbie on line three. Debbie, good morning. Good morning to you, Matthew. Am I living in a parallel universe here? No, I, I couldn't agree with you more, and I think that most right-minded people will think the same. A person, a, a child who is 13 is a child. 14, they're still, even though they would rather not be, because yeah, yeah. I have a 14-year-old, and they want to grow up as quickly as possible. But no matter how hard it is to say no... That is your job as a parent if it is the right thing, if you pardon the pun. Um, they are there to be protected. Um, this site should not be asking for these statistics. You said that the organisers are listening at the moment. If the organisers are listening, let them be big enough to remove this information immediately at the end of this programme. And then at least this programme will have done its own campaigning bit for what is right I think it's absolutely disgusting. Um, we're living in a culture of celebrity. We're strange that some of the biggest celebrities, um, sort of both profile and the, the sort that people know, they all started off because of large boobs. Jordan, who now... Indeed, is, myself, uh, Debbie, which is... Uh... <laughs> Uh, so kind of you not to mention me first, but I'd know where you're coming from. Now, uh, we have some younger people with us in the audience. We do, indeed. I've got two young ladies with me uh, this morning. Let's go to Jade first. So, what do you think? Well, I think that if they're asking for it, and yes, it is voluntary, but there's clearly a reason for it, and these girls are going on these teen model sites anyway, so they might as well. I mean, that's but what they're asking for, so... But there's no need to publish that information, is there? But if you're I mean, asking, if it... then there must be some kind of reason. I think that you lot are kind of... Um, I don't think you really understand that 13- well, and 14-year-old girls are a lot more mature than I think what they you're may, thinking. They may be a lot more mature. No-one's going to argue with that. But they are still, by definition, legally children. children. And therefore, as children, adults, namely their parents, are responsible for them. And it strikes me as a strangely... a strange thing for a responsible parent to 
enable their daughter to publish their bra size online on a site which could be seen by anyone with all kinds of weird intentions, because we read all the time about people using the internet uh, to get off on. Do you not find that's a strange choice well, for a parent to make? I think that because it's more, it's not the child's problem that there's paedophiles out there. It's the paedophile's problem. And really, it should be, if the child wants to get ahead in this whatever industry, and that's what they see as necessary to do it, mm. then they're going to put it up. And there's websites where you post your bra size to order bras. And they might not be as... Yeah. But you don't publish security. that online. It's but they a, might the information be a goes through. Base, this is published online, so anyone can just go up and have a look at it. And there are some weird people out there, and I don't doubt for one moment they would go up on and look at it. So maybe our last caller, Debbie, has got the right idea, and they should take that information down ASAP. Thank you, Jade, by the way. Bless you. After the ads, it's the big Glastonbury debate, now renamed Hip Hop versus Hip Hop. Uh, last year, outrage over Jay-Z playing the main stage. This year, I've heard St John's Ambulance will be on standby yeah. as a succession of wrinkly rockers risk coronaries <laughs> doing their thing, and there's hardly a hip hopper in sight. So, has the pendulum swung too far back to the old days? 0207 173 is the number for your thoughts. Maybe you think Glasgow is right to go back to its grey-haired roots. I don't know, your calls after the break, man. Black acts are playing the main stage at Glastonbury this year. Four, eight, or sixteen. Find out after the break.